Al Dutcher will give his weekly weather forecast as usual this week, but as we enter December, we thought it'd be a good time to take a quick look at Nebraska's current moisture conditions and glance ahead at what might be in store as we approach winter. Well, if we want to look at it in, in regards to how, how a climatologist would track things in, in regards to ag weather, um, we kind of look at that October 1st as the start of the of the recharge season for soil moisture and of course we started we ended the season very dry and very warm and then we seen those big storms with the blizzard unfortunately that caused significant damage and then we followed up with a fairly major storm at the beginning of, of uh, the month of November when you accumulate all that we have some significant surpluses that have accumulated across northeast Nebraska and parts of east central Nebraska we're looking at two to upwards of five inches above normal for that period so we're in really good shape in, in regards to the last couple years in these locations. The real problem area that hasn't seen the significant moisture has been portions of the southwest, west central, and then of course uh, the western half of, of uh, southwest Nebraska. And so we seem to be continuing this trend and unfortunately with all this cold air that's been coming in, we're starting to set some frost in the ground and the big, the big issue at this point is are we even going to have enough good weather to get a liquid event that can get into the profile before the ground freezes up solid? And that's what we really need to see in southwest Nebraska. That being said, you know, from a pr prospect of what we've seen the last three years, we're, we're in pretty good shape going through the winter. Does that mean that the drought is over, or that the improving conditions will continue? There's a lot of uncertainty, and it really is going to boil down to whether or not we see an aggressive uh, winter pattern can we lay a, a decent foundation of snow? Because even if we freeze the ground and we can get a significant amount of snow accumulation this winter, you know, that a lot of people may not want that, that becomes a runoff component in the spring. Right. And that's how we get the hydrological aspect of this drought starting to uh, ease it up. But Let's talk I, about winter here. Yeah. Because every time uh, you come in for Thursday, I say it's too cold and you say, get <laughs> used to it. Give me a brief overview of temp and precip for winter. Okay, there's really not a lot to be garnered from CPC's forecast for this next three months. And that's not unusual. CPC's forecast, uh, winter forecast, or even out through the season, that's highly dependent on the equatorial Pacific. Um, their accuracy goes way up during El Nino and La Nina events. And we're in what we call an ENSO neutral conditions, meaning that there is no significant sign of El Nino or La Nina. Therefore, we become dependent on how the northern jet acts. And the big factor in that will be, do we see a blocking pattern establish itself in the North Atlantic? If we do, then this cold weather we've been seeing would likely to continue because when we have that blocking pattern, we tend to see a rather significant troughing action across the eastern United States. That opens the door from Canada to our two locations to the south. If we see a rotation, meaning that we see that blocking pattern established, it breaks down after a couple of weeks, then we start to see a trough reform in the western United States and we get a progressive pattern which would accumulate snowfall. So that's why CPC doesn't really give us an accurate forecast, or I should say an accurate forecast, a real reliable forecast in terms of a trend. My suspicion is that these cold Arctic waves are going to continue. There has been no sign in the models that they're not going to continue, so we're going to have to deal with periodic cold fronts coming through with very significant uh, air temperatures well below normal. Anytime you do that, you're looking at Arctic fronts with the possibility of light snow. On occasion, we may throw a big snowstorm coming out of the southwest. And so I see this as a more of a normal winter at this point with the possibility that it could be exceptionally cold the first half of the winter. And then we'll just have to pay attention to see how much snow we accumulate on the ground because that'll dictate our temperature the second half of the winter.